Okay, Aslam Abdul, dear participants. Before I formally start this, I would like to uh, get a uh, uh, little bit introduction for, of the participants. Uh, since there are more than uh, 40 participants in this session, so it is not possible to get uh, introduction from all participants. Uh, I, I will just like to get uh, your the orientation to the or your prior exposure to the software to that note. Uh, uh, just uh, I just uh, want to see that uh, which uh, software application uh, you are using to cite your references. Uh, I mean, ये हमने check करना है कि आप किस तरीके से अपने references को manage करते हैं और उसके accordingly ताकि हम sessions को थोड़ा सा customize कर सकें. तो अभी मैं देख रहा था एक participant कह रहे थे कि video share नहीं हो रही चलिए मैं आपकी इच्छा दूर कर देता हूँ. चलिए मेरा ख्याल है कि आप अब आपको मेरी तस्वीर भी आ रही है और आवाज भी आ रही है. तो मैं सबसे पहले रफीक खान साहब को इनवाइट करूंगा कि वो आप ये बताइएगा कि आप एक तो अपना इंट्रोडक्शन करवा दें कि आप किस लेवल पे हैं रिसर्च स्कॉलर और आप रेफरेंस मैनेजमेंट के लिए क्या यूज कर रहे हैं और क्या आपने ऑलरेडी एनोट के बारे में सुना है और अगर सुना है तो आई मीन क्यों आप उसको यूज कर रहे हैं या नहीं कर रहे जी प्लीज रफी मिस्टर रफी हेलो खान इज नॉट दियर सर बेसिकली तो मैंने थोड़ा सा एंड नोट यूज किया है लेकिन क्योंकि उसकी इतनी ज्यादा नो हाउ नहीं थी तो उसको ज्यादा यूज नहीं किया कि उसमें हमने कैसे चीजें मतलब इंटरप्रेट करनी है कैसे उसको यूज करना है तो मोस्टली मैनुअल ही हम लोग कर रहे हैं कि सिंपल वर्ड के अंदर जो है वो उधर से सारे के सारा ऑटोमेटिकली तो हमारा कोई ऐसा सिस्टम नहीं मैनुअली हम उसको सारा राइट अप करते हैं अपनी डिस्कशन के अंदर भी रेफरेंस देते हैं और एंड पे लिटरेचर साइटेशन के अंदर भी हम सेपरेटली खुद ही उसको कह लें फीड कर रहे हैं तो वो इसलिए डिफिकल्ट लगा था कि उसकी प्रॉपर ट्रेनिंग वगैरह नहीं थी तो मैंने एंड नोट फाइव यूज किया था पहले लेकिन फिर वो छोड़ दिया क्योंकि उसकी प्रॉपरली इतनी ज्यादा मेरे पास स्किल नहीं थी तो मैं उसको जरा इजीली यूज कर सकता आज हम कोशिश करेंगे कि आपके पास एंड नोट तो होपफुल इंस्टॉल होगा जी इंस्टॉल है एक और भी आपसे रिक्वेस्ट है की आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट ऑल दार्टमेंट है देखें जब हम इस सेशन की हैंड प्रैक्टिस करेंगे तो फिर कुछ फायदा होगा Uh, वैसे तो इस पूरे वेबिनार की रिकॉर्डिंग भी आपको ये ऑर्गेनाइजर्स यासर साहब और जकिया साहब आपको प्रोवाइड कर देंगे uh, लेकिन आई मीन कि ये एक्टिव सेशन हो तो ये ज्यादा सर हम एंड्रॉइड यूज तो कर रहे हैं लेकिन uh, उसमें हमें एक दो प्रॉब्लम्स फेस हो रही थी जिसकी वजह से हमने समझा कि इस वर्कशॉप हमारे लिए हेल्पफुल हो सकती है अच्छा ठीक है क्या प्रॉब्लम uh, आप फेस कर रहे थे एक तो प्रॉब्लम ये है कि uh, मतलब हम नेट uh, से डिफरेंट जर्नल से या डिफरेंट रिसर्च इंजन से तो साइटेशन uh, ले लेते हैं लेकिन ये नहीं समझ रहा कि एक अगर पेपर हमने पीडीएफ फॉर्म में अपने पास डाउनलोड किया हुआ है और हम उस पीडीएफ कॉपी से साइटेशन लेना चाहें तो वो हम कैसे लेंगे ठीक है चले ये हम फिर क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन में डिस्कस करते हैं कि आपका क्वेश्चन किस तरह से है एनी वे आई मीन की आपका ऑलरेडी प्राइस का ठीक है गुड ठीक हो गया और सेकेंड ये अगर हमने एप्रीवेशन किसी जर्नल की मैंशन करनी है एंड नोट में तो वो भी काइंडली बता दीजिएगा कि एप्रीवेशंस ऑफ जर्नल कैसे इसमें जी सर अस्सलाम वालेकुम और जी सर मैं मैंने एंड नोट को यूज नहीं किया हम जो है अभी मैं जो है अपनी फर्स्ट सेकंड ईयर ऑफ पीएचडी में हूं तो मेरा यूनिवर्सिटी में तो अभी मैंने जो है एंड नोट को यूज नहीं किया है बिल्कुल मैं इससे अनफैमिलियर हूं ये तो आप सिटेशंस किस तरह से मैनेज कर रहे हैं सर साइटेशंस मैनेज करने के लिए जो है वो जस्ट वर्ड में हम गूगल स्कॉलर यूज करते हैं और यानी मैन्युअली टाइप करते हैं जी डॉक्टर साहब आप कुछ थोड़ा सा अपना एक्सपीरियंस शेयर कर रहे हैं रेफरेंस मैनेजमेंट के लिए वो हम तो एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं कि हम आपसे कुछ लेकिन लेकिन उसमें आपको कुछ प्रॉब्लम फेस हो रहे हैं एनी वे Uh, हम ये कोशिश करेंगे पार्टिसिपेंट्स के uh, जो हमारा वैसे तो देखें दो घंटे का एक एजेंडा है और उस उन पॉइंट्स को हमें लेके चलना है और उस पर हमें हैंड्स ऑन भी करनी है ऑब्वियसली uh, कि शायद ये पॉसिबल ना हो कि तमाम क्यूरीज को हम एड्रेस कर सकें uh, कोशिश यही होगी कि जो हम यहाँ पे पॉइंट्स को डिस्कस करेंगे उसी डोमेन में अगर आपकी क्यूरीज हैं uh, उनको हम डिस्कस कर लें उसके अलावा आई का फॉरम अवेलेबल है मैं भी अवेलेबल हूँ Uh, हम उसको ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड अदर दिन दिस सेशन भी आप uh, हमसे कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं वी आर वेरी मच वॉल्टियर टू शेयर नॉलेज तो हमारा जो आज का एजेंडा है उसमें बेसिकली इन पॉइंट्स को हमने कवर करना है इट विल कवर व्हाट इज एंड नोट एंड हाउ कैन यू क्रिएट एंड नोट लाइब्रेरी 
uh, and uh, how can you import references from Google Scholar, uh, which is a search engine, obviously. And you can also download references from uh, uh, databases uh, like Emerald. These are the renowned databases, Science Digest, ORI, Triple D, and PubMed. So, when you import references, basically, the endnote will facilitate you that this is literally a library. जैसे फिजिकल लाइब्रेरी होती है और वहां पे आप देखते हैं कि आपकी एक रिपोजिटरी जनरेट हुई होती है तो यहां एंड नोट के अंदर भी आपके जो सॉफ्ट रिसोर्सेज हैं जो आपके पीडीएफ्स हैं उनको ऑर्गेनाइज करता है आई मीन के अटैच कर सकते हैं आप रेफरेंसेस के अंदर और सेकंडली आप उनको ऑर्गेनाइज कर सकते हैं ग्रुप्स के अंदर और ग्रुप सेट्स के अंदर तो ये इसको भी हम प्रैक्टिकली करेंगे साइट रेफरेंस आपने किस तरह करना है एमएस वर्ड के अंदर ऑब्वियसली ये यही पर्पस है इस ट्रेनिंग का क्योंकि आपने जो अपना लिटरेचर भी लिखना है वो तो आपने एमएस वर्ड के अंदर ही लिखते हैं डॉक्यूमेंट्स में लिखते हैं तो रेफरेंस मैनेजमेंट एमएस वर्ड के अंदर आपने जो एंड नोट है वो किस तरह से करनी है उसको हम देखेंगे फिर ये कि इसमें आप मल्टीपल आउटपुट स्टाइल्स होते हैं हर जर्नल की अपनी रिक्वायरमेंट होती है हर यूनिवर्सिटी की अपनी रिक्वायरमेंट होती है मोस्टली एपीएस स्टाइल होता है लेकिन मेडिकल के जर्नल्स हो या मेडिकल के स्टूडेंट्स हो उनकी रिक्वायरमेंट्स कुछ और होती है या इंजीनियरिंग के कुछ और रेफरेंसेस होते हैं बैंकर होता है और बहुत सारे इसमें स्टाइल्स हैं तो उनको भी हम देखेंगे कि किस तरह से आप ऑटोमेटिकली रेफरेंस स्टाइल को चेंज कर सकते हैं फिर ये कि रेफरेंसेस देखें जो हर चीज आपकी ऑनलाइन अवेलेबल नहीं होती रेफरेंसेस की जो फाइल होती है बेसिकली वो अपलोड होती है गूगल स्कॉलर पे या डेटाबेस के सोर्सेस के ऊपर लेकिन सारे रेफरेंसेस ऑनलाइन अवेलेबल नहीं होते क्योंकि देखें लिटरेचर रिव्यू एक बहुत बॉर्डर कॉन्सेप्ट है और लिटरेचर रिव्यू के अंदर खाली स्कॉलरली आर्टिकल्स नहीं आते ये इवन के जो कन्वर्सेशन है और बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जो लिटरेचर रिव्यू के डोमेन में फॉल uh, करती हैं तो वो उनकी रेफरेंसिंग मैनुअली करनी होती है और मैनुअल रेफरेंसेज किस तरह होते हैं इसमें एंटर करते हैं वो भी हम इसमें डिस्कस करेंगे और लास्टली uh, uh, मेरा अपना एमएस का थीसिस है जिसमें मैंने एक लाइब्रेरी अपनी बनाई है तो उसको मैं एज अ केस स्टडी प्रेजेंट करूंगा आपके सामने कि uh, किस तरीके से मैंने एज अ रिसर्च स्कॉलर अपने रेफरेंसेज को मैनेज किया किस तरीके से मैंने इसमें ग्रुप्स बनाए और जो ओवरऑल जो पॉइंट्स हैं इसको किस तरह से उसको प्रैक्टिकली मैंने इम्प्लीमेंट uh, किया तो ये हमारा आज का एजेंडा है और आई होप कि ये पॉइंट्स uh, जो है ये एक बिगनिंग uh, लेवल के ऊपर आपके रेफरेंसेस के जो इश्यूज होते हैं उनको एड्रेस करेगा लेकिन सॉफ्टवेयर एक बहुत कम्प्रीहेंसिव एप्लीकेशन होती है चाहे वो कोई भी सॉफ्टवेयर हो वो वो एनालिसिस का सॉफ्टवेयर हो वो क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस का सॉफ्टवेयर हो उसकी तमाम जो फीचर्स हैं तमाम उसकी जो फंक्शंस हैं उनको एड्रेस करना किसी सेशन में पॉसिबल नहीं होता तो मैंने इसको प्लान दो आवर्स के अकॉर्डिंगली इस तरह किए हैं कि आपके जो रेफरेंसेस से रिलेटेड इश्यूज हैं उनको हम इन पॉइंट्स के अंदर कवर कर लेंगे तो आई गेस कि आप तमाम लोगों के पास अपना पीसी के अंदर भी एंड नोट इंस्टॉल है और आप लोग मेरे साथ इसमें हैंड नोट प्रैक्टिस करें तो सबसे पहले जो हमारा मैं आपको थोड़ा सा लेबरेट कर देता हूँ कि एंड नोट है क्या बेसिकली रेफरेंस मैनेजर के तौर पे आपका काम करता है और एक ऐसा सॉफ्टवेयर है जो आपकी फाइल्स को इंपोर्ट करता है एक्सपोर्ट करता है ऑर्गेनाइज करता है और इंफॉर्मेशन सोर्सेज को आपके ऑर्गेनाइज करता है एज अ क्लाइंट भी बेसिकली आपके लिए परफॉर्म करता है और आपके जो रेफरेंसेज होते हैं जिसमें आपके सॉफ्ट रेफरेंसेज हैं सॉफ्ट सोर्सेज हैं जिसमें आपके पी हैं फिगर्स हैं पिक्चर्स हैं उनको स्टोर करता है तो वैसे पिक्चर्स और फिगर्स की तो नॉर्मली एप्लीकेशन एस एस नहीं होती पीडीएफ ही नॉर्मली होती है क्योंकि हमारे जो स्कॉलेजी आर्टिकल्स होते हैं रिसर्च पेपर्स होते हैं वो पीडीएफ फॉर्म में होते हैं तो इसमें हम देखेंगे कि किस तरह से हमारा बेसिकली हमारे जो जो पीडीएफ हैं उनको ये मैनेज करता है बिल्कुल इस तरह जिस तरह एक लाइब्रेरी के अंदर होता है तो ये बेसिकली एक ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन था एंड नोट का जो मैंने आपके सामने रखा है अब मैं जाना चाहूंगा कि हम इसको प्रैक्टिकली परफॉर्म करें कि किस तरह से आपने लाइब्रेरी को क्रिएट करना है क्रिएटिंग अ न्यू लाइब्रेरी तो आप एक तो काइंडली अपने जो एंड नोट है सॉफ्टवेयर उसको आप ओपन करें ताकि हम इसमें एंड नोट की लाइब्रेरी को प्रैक्टिकली क्रिएट कर सकें तो पहला स्टेप ये है कि क्रिएटिंग अ न्यू लाइब्रेरी और उसमें आपने 
प्रोग्राम्स में जाना है अगर आप विंडो एट यूज कर रहे हैं या विंडो सेवन यूज कर रहे हैं टेन यूज कर रहे हैं तो इन ऑल केसेस आपने एंड नोट को प्रोग्राम में सर्च करना है तो आप ये यहाँ पे एंड नोट को टाइप करें तो आप देखेंगे यहाँ पे एंड नोट ओपन हो गया इसको आपने क्लिक करना है तो ये एंड नोट का इंटरफेस आपके सामने ओपन हो गया है ये एक मिनट ये मेरी ऑलरेडी जो कि लाइब्रेरी बनी हुई है सो दैट्स वाई ये इसने इसको ओपन कर दिया आई गेस कि आपके सामने ये इंटरफेस ओपन हुआ होगा आप लोग कैंडली मेरे साथ चलें मैं ज्यादा स्पीड अप नहीं करूंगा इसको ताकि आप मेरे साथ साथ चलते रहें और हैंड ऑन प्रैक्टिस होती रहे प्लीज मेक श्योर कर लें कि आपने लाइब्रेरी ओपन कर ली अगर ओपन कर लिया तो प्लीज मुझे आप चैट बॉक्स में निशान साहब सॉरी आई डिस्टर्ब यू ये यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ पिशावर से वाले कह रहे हैं कि कुछ फॉरनर स्टूडेंट है हमारे तरफ क्या आप इंग्लिश में ये लेक्चर डिलीवर कर सकते हैं ओके जोया खान इज सेइंग दैट शी हैज एन नोट एक्स5 ओ आई एम सॉरी ओके आई थिंक देयर इज नो सिग्निफिकेंट डिफरेंस बिटवीन द इंटरफेस ऑफ एन नोट एक्स5 एंड एक्स7 सो इट विल इक्वली वर्क बट आई विल रिकमेंड दैट यू आर सपोज्ड टू हैव एन नोट एक्स7 अदरवाइज यू नो hands on session uh, will not uh, facilitate you so okay okay i think all majority of the participants have uh, opened the end note interface so now the next step is to click on the file menu and click on new right so here you can see you can see that uh, uh and uh, note is asking you that what will be the name uh, what will be the name of the and note library so it is similar like other application uh, when you create ms word file or any other file so it asks you that what should be the name of the file so let's uh, give uh, this uh and note library a particular name for example workshop practice all right and i'm saving this uh, virtual uh, uh, library on my desktop so you can you can see here that uh, my library has been created okay library created good uh, most of the participants have created the library Uh, now the next step is uh, to automatically cite references from Google Scholar and other database, right? So you please uh, open Google Scholar from your system. Okay. In in Google Scholar, you can search uh, articles of your area of uh, according to your area of interest. For example, uh, because I'm from management sciences background. and marketing so i am typing here uh, the concept of relationship marketing you can type uh, according to your area it makes no difference relationship marketing so because we are just uh, having a demo session here okay so you can see that uh, these articles uh, these are the articles which google scholar have searched for us uh, acha this is very important to understand that uh, in the in very beginning uh, you will be seeing interface in this mode so you can see that uh, here is option of site is available i have circled this option can you see here okay so in this site option you can if if you click on this site option yes so if you click on this site option you can see that uh, google scholar is providing you uh, multiple styles like mla apa chicago and forward and vancouver so normally what students do that they copy this and paste it in word document this is normal practices that uh, the students who do not use and note they do like this and you can see that in the bottom bib text and note reference manager and reference reference works are enabled you can click on end note and the citation will be automatically imported but uh, this is a little bit a lengthy mod uh, what you can do is that you just uh, go to google scholar settings in this uh, 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 drop down menu click on settings 
and under bibliography manager uh, option you choose you are supposed to choose end note um, as a as an option and click on save so what make uh, what this uh, particular uh, option has enabled in uh, uh, google scholar is that import to end note option has been enabled before this you are seeing that uh, there were only site option now you can see that import to end note option has been enabled it means that if you will click on this button it will automatically and directly import references into end note so you can i am just uh, clicking on the second uh, of article import into end note and this has imported the the reference in my end note library any problem till this step is a question from yes participants i hope that you people are with me in following the steps uh, rafiq khan you have any question this session okay i'm seeing the chat box here i download reference but was not able to import into window okay yes okay done yes okay done okay uh, participant this is important uh, one option i have you can see that there is an exe file there will be an exe file which is being downloaded uh, in pc uh, actually i have enabled a certain option that is why my reference has been directly run in the in, in the end note library Uh, Muhammad Usman is saying that at my side first reference download and then open. Yes, yes. Uh, Usman, you know actually uh, you are supposed to click on that reference because the, it's an exe file. So exe file is is download in your PC and you are supposed to double click on that and then you will be able to run uh, in the in the EndNote library. i think uh, okay let me let me try if this option if i undo this option in my pc so that you will be in a better position to learn uh, this step Name is not okay. I guess that participants have uh, imported references in EndNote library. If yes, then please uh, chat in the chat, uh, type chat in the. Zoya Khan is saying yes. Okay, my link is not opening in Word. Okay, Adil Ahmed saying yes. Okay, okay, okay. All. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Munazza Khan is saying, "How can I fix it?" I think we should talk to Munazza Khan. I hope that uh, it will help many other participants' problem as well. Munazza Khan. Zakia, will you like to un uh, uh, unmute Munazza Khan? Yes. 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 I am. Um... Yes, Miss Monaza, your voice is open now. You can. Um. Hi. Yes, you can proceed. Hello. Yes, I yes, can. Yes, yes, Monaza, please. What? Okay. Actually, I downloaded the article, or उसके बाद वो नीचे download हो के ना खुल नहीं रहा in note में. So how can I fix that? आप उसको double click करें. Double click भी किया, फिर भी नहीं हो रहा. 
अच्छा डबल क्लिक करने से भी नहीं हो रहा अच्छा चले आई डोंट नो कि आप अपना जरा स्क्रीन शेयर करें ओके मैं प्रेजेंटर इसमें माइक योर वॉइस इज बेटर लॉइ हेलो यस हेलो अब आपकी आवाज ठीक है यस यस ओके देखिए आप इसको क्लिक करें इंपोर्ट टू एंड जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इंपोर्ट टू एंड नोट एंड फॉलो व्हाट आई एम सेइंग आपने मेरे को इसके बारे में पूछ लिया था कि इंपोर्ट टू एंड नोट अम आपकी आवाज क्लियर नहीं है आई कांट हियर यू प्रॉपर्ली मिसेस डिजाइन काइंडली आर म्यूट द लैपटॉप स्पीकर इफ यू हेलो यस हेलो जी जी अब आपकी आवाज ठीक है हेलो ठीक है ओके ओके मिस मुनजा यू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द ड्रॉप डाउन मेन्यू ऑफ द फाइल यस एंड हियर पार्टिसिपेंट यू आल्सो सी दिस टैब वेरी केयरफुली एंड क्लिक ऑन ऑलवेज फाइल्स ऑफ दिस टाइम ओके एंड नाउ आई थिंक द पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैव लर्नड दैट हाउ दे कैन यूज दे हाउ दे कैन इंपोर्ट रेफरेंसेस फ्रॉम गूगल गूगल स्कॉलर uh you you can also import references from other databases uh, basically google scholar is not a database google scholar is a search engine and citation available on google scholar is normally is a, considered as a secondary source and uh, some fields of references may be uh, missing while you import references from google scholar so it is uh, it, it is okay for uh, beginners for the for the people who are not using any reference manager uh, uh, in their research but if uh, i mean mrl or any other database is the direct source so they provide uh, accurate information and there is a there is a danger or there is a probability that google scholar uh, uh, citations will have um, missing fields in terms of references so uh, there is little bit uh, uh, technical steps involved in while you import references directly from uh databases but we will like to uh, do this for your sake so first uh, if uh, we go to mrl and type uh, certain research uh, topic of our interest for example again i'm i'm searching the um, uh, customer insight for example so here you can see that Uh, what is being searched for us okay so here you can see that uh, uh, it has searched 20 references in a single page for me acha now what is the benefit of searching from uh, directly from database is that you can export multiple references at a single time for example if i select all so it will select all the articles from 1 to 20 and if you think that uh, all these 20 articles are not relevant so then you can choose articles of your own choice uh, uh, is my screen showing to to the participants okay participants can see my screen for example if article number 1 article number 4 or article number 7 and article number 11 is relevant so you can click on this and you can uh 
directly export these references to your uh, endnote library in a single click so here we can we, we can see we will have to search where the reference uh, uh, exporting uh, option is available in in a mirror yes participants have you open emerald okay uh, in in this option in this area you can see uh, for select items option you can choose download citation option here here you can choose download citation option and click on this and uh, uh, you can see that there are multiple checkpoints available options available so what you are supposed to do since you are using endnote as a reference manager so you choose you, you click on endnote and download article citation now what will happen you can see that all the all the articles that we have we had checked in in that particular page have been imported simultaneously in endnote library practicing with me okay Yes, participants. Have you downloaded citations from Emerald? Sobia Munir is saying that she has not got the step. So, okay. Okay. I will repeat the step for you. For Ramshi, he has done this step. Okay. I'm repeating the step. I'm repeating the step. No issue. You just go on the Emerald site. Go on the Emerald site, uh, right? And type your topic of your of your in, uh, in into your area of interest. Click on search. I, here you can see that it has searched many many articles. As uh, per your query, uh, from page number one to one uh, ten. So, in this uh, option, uh, you have you can either choose all items, select all. So it will select all twenty articles in, on a single page, and will simultaneously import uh, the citations in EndNote. But if articles are not, uh, if all twenty articles are not uh, relevant, so you can customize. Uh, you can make your uh, selection customized. By clicking on uh, particular articles, fine. And now, after having, after you have selected the articles, go here. Uh, in this area, you know, this is the option for select items. And click on download citation. Fine. And here you have an option of RIS EndNote on EndNote and download article citation. And here you can see that these citations have been imported to EndNote library. I think uh, now uh, participants will have got this point. If okay, then uh, uh, I would like to move ahead because time is very limited. Thank you. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, similar is the step in Science Direct, but keep in mind that all databases have uh, uh, their own uh, website setting. So this uh, citation, uh, exporting citation uh, option is available according to their. A website setting. For example, in Science Direct, we are searching similar topic. Uh, like, can uh, I search for the For example, uh, human capital. Human capital. Fine. So here again, you can see that uh, Science Direct ha has shown uh, these articles. You can choose this article one, two, three, seven, or all articles, and 
uh, here the option will, uh, is comparatively easy. You can see that uh, that under export option, what you're supposed to do is to click on export and click on RIS. Mind it that basically there are certain types of, uh, many types of files, uh, reference files available on databases. For EndNote, RIS format is, uh, is acceptable. So EndNote accepts RIS format, which is also being shown in the bracket. So what, we, and also uh, checked by default in this website, so uh, in content uh, option, you can see that it is uh, providing you the option of citation only or citation and abstract. So you know that uh, all databases, regardless that you that your library or your uh, university have an access to that particular databases or not, you can cite reference and abstract because references and abstracts are always available free of cost. So uh, I will recommend that you should choose uh, abstract as well. So click on export, and then you will see that it will also export references in uh, EndNote. Yes, here you can see that uh, these references have also been ex uh, imported in EndNote. I think it was um, similar to the step that we had followed in uh, ML world. Is it okay from for SenseDirect? How to delete imported citations? Okay, for them, we will discuss this uh, uh, issue in question and answer session. Done. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Now I will like to speed up the process because time is very limited. Uh, similar is the case. Uh, for, for example, let us go on JSTOR. And in JSTOR, you can see, for example, JSTOR. Uh, uh, we will let me search organizational innovation. Organizational innovation. So if yes, I have searched organizational innovation, and these articles have been uh, shown by JSTOR interface. So you can either choose a single article or multiple article. So click on this, 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 or all the articles, and uh, and choose export selected citation. Here is the option. Choose selected citation. Click here and choose export as RIS. As I already had told you that RIS is the acceptable uh, format for EndNote. So here we, we will choose RIS file format. Click here and you can see that these articles have also been exported. So we have, up till now we have downloaded 21 articles. So I think uh, JSTOR is also similar to that uh, uh, of Emerald and SenseDirect. Fine. Okay, last uh, step, I triple E. So uh, I don't want to ignore my engineering friends if they are. The engineering wale naraz na ho jayenge ki hume represent nahi kiya. Okay. So engineering walon ko bhi hum represent karte hain. I triple E ko bhi hum search karte hain. So I triple E databases uh, is also here. Uh, let me search here according to the, for example, For example, chemicals. Let me search chemicals. Okay, here. Yeah. So you can see that chemicals, so no search is here. Any friend from uh, engineering domain can help me searching a particular keyword here? Any word, any any word, any key term from engineering because I am not uh, from engineering background. So,
computer okay computer genetics computer okay Ren renewable energy oh, oh very good now, now there is bombardment of <laughs> keywords <laughs> okay engineering okay let me search engineering engineering sir cuts engineering circuits engineering circuits okay Mm. Okay, this is the right URL. Circuits. No, this is not. Circuits. Challenge, circuits and systems. All right. Okay, now we, we see that how many references have been available here. Okay. Okay, so let me check uh, this paper, this paper, this one, and this one. And let me look at where the option of exporting citation is available. Oh, yes, it's very easy here. Export to IEEE, no. Download citation. So that's it's a very user friendly interface. So you can see here that under export citation, download citation option, uh, let me click on it and it will provide option of pain text reference RIS. Again, we will choose RIS as a format, citation and abstract, abstract and download. So let me check. It has also downloaded in. Yes, all these articles have been uh, exported in and not. So I think that's all uh, from I thank you. Okay. Okay. So that's all from uh, searching techniques. Uh, so similar is the case. If you want to search from other databases, for example, like EBSCO host and other sources. So I will personally recommend you that you should use um, uh, exporting options. I mean, uh, getting ex export files from databases because Google Scholar is a secondary source. But uh, if you feel it uh, tricky or difficult, then Google Scholar is also not a bad option. So let me go to the next step, which is about Importing uh, from library catalog catalog zone. I will like to skip this step because it will make more complex. Uh, okay, challenge. Little bit. Uh, I, I will like to give a brief uh, orientation of this option as well. Uh, basically, you can also directly search uh, from Google library. Uh, I mean, sorry, EndNote library. So EndNote library can also search literature for you. Uh, despite of going to the to Google Scholar or going to databases, you can use tools option here in uh, EndNote. Uh, click on online search and choose the relevant database. For example, uh, you can see that here there are many options, many uh, many databases list available in this um, window. Uh, let me choose PubMed here because PubMed is the PubMed. Yes, PubMed. And click on choose and search here, for example, circuits. Circuits. So here you will see that what will happen. Okay. Okay. Chale. 
let me search uh, relationship marketing in the ship marketing here okay 31 retrieve records one of 31 okay yes so here you can see that uh, it has searched and it is still searching on the text search query of relationship marketing so what you can do that uh, uh, choose articles of your choice and uh, move references to okay uh, next step is adding a file to a reference uh, you know as i already had told you that uh, endnote uh, serves you as a uh, repository as a as a library so you can attach your pdf your full text articles in the reference uh, in, in your uh, endnote library as well for example uh, let uh, for example uh, here is a reference uh, like uh, organizational innovation in professional affairs and customer firm relationship and customer relation whatever anyway so if you have full text available in your pc you can also attach your pdf file in this uh, uh, in your android library uh, for this purpose what you're supposed to do uh, just locate that particular pdf in your pc uh, let me for example here is the for example this file belongs to this reference so what i can do is to to choose uh, to select this file and drag and drop this in endnote library and click here and drop it so now you can see that here the file has been attached in this uh, reference uh, against this reference let me also do if for example this article belongs to this particular reference and you can see that here the file has been attached here which is also uh, the okay now you can see that you can also read this uh, uh, full text uh, of, uh, from your android library you don't need to locate it in your pc uh, anywhere in your pc and endnote will provide you uh, this one window operation you can see that uh, you can you just click on uh, click here and look at uh, this double click on on the reference just double click on the reference and click uh, on uh, pdf and you can easily read this and this uh, 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 i mean pdf option uh, i mean uh, customer relationship yes the point that i want to tell you is that uh, endnote provides you pdf option with all uh, 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 available pdf options for example you can read you can highlight text here so all the uh, options are enabled here and you can create uh, sticky notes here so you don't need to go anywhere in your pc you can directly read it from your pc and just save it on any question up till now uh khuram sheikh is saying that i am unable to perform this step tools online search uh, i don't know which online search you are talking about uh, please repeat previous step i am not able to perform step we lost you within merchant is saying i wish if you would please repeat the step so it's a medical term within merchant uh, is saying that 
uh, I think Zoya Khan, you were you were talking you were talking about you were talking about online search from uh, EndNote library. I think uh, it, uh, that uh, option is little bit complex. Uh, I will not like to. Uh, I, I would like to skip that. I think you you were talking about this option. Organize your references into groups. No. I think you were talking about this point. What I observed from your conversation. So let me skip this point because uh, this is a little bit complex because it will create uh, a very high load on your PC and sometimes it uh, stuck your system. So let me skip this point and we will discuss this in some other sessions. Uh, what now I'm uh, discussing about is the uh, exporting PDF in your PC, uh, attaching a PDF in your references. Can you please answer my question? Tahir Mubashir is saying. I wanted to learn how to get citations from already downloaded PDF in your PC. Okay, Zoya Khan, we will discuss this. Can you please answer? No, sir. citations from the already downloaded PDFs. Zoya Khan. Okay, Zakiya, just uh, un unmute Zoya Khan. Uh, let me take her on, uh, her question live, and yeah. then we will discuss what the problem is. Yes, Zoya Khan. Sir, I wanted to ask. Okay, we already have some PDFs. In our system, which we have saved, okay. right? So, how, okay. under, say, how can we extract these citations from that particular PDF that is already inside our system? Okay, okay. So, yeah, we will discuss this point uh, in next uh, in, in next session. I mean, uh, our next point is about this uh, point. So, I hope uh, you will get your answer in this in that uh, particular session. Okay. So, I think all participants have learned how can they. Uh, Attach PDF uh, to the references. Is it okay? If okay, then please uh, write yes in the chat box so that I could move further. Okay. Fine. So our next step is to organize your uh, references into groups and subgroups. Uh, uh, dear participants, you can see that uh, we have uh, downloaded many references here, uh, but all uh, references are not in particular uh, uh, order. So, in order to uh, categorize them, in order to classify them, uh, EndNote also provide us this facility in the form of creating groups. For example. Uh, uh, I belong to management sciences uh, area, or if I am doing a particular research paper or uh, or uh, my thesis, so I can uh, park my references according to uh, uh, the according to the key terms. For example, if you are doing um, a thesis on uh, the impact of organizational uh, the impact of human capital on organizational innovation, so in this case you have two keywords: organizational innovation and human capital. So you can categorize your uh, uh, references in one group, which is, which will be uh, organizational innovation, and the second group will be uh, human capital. So how can we do this? Let me do let me do, do this practically in EndNote. In the you just go to the groups and create uh, choose create group option. Okay. Here you can see that. It has created a group. You can give it a particular name. Uh, for example, uh, let me take an example of uh, management sciences. All people, all those, all the participants who belongs to management sciences know that marketing, finance, HRM, supply chain, logistics management lies under the domain of management sciences. So let me create one group with the name of marketing. Our friends from medical sciences, you don't worry. I will also give representation to you as well. Marketing. Let me create another group uh, of uh, HRM. HRM. Uh, HRM. And 
another of finance finance okay so what i have done is that i have created finance hrm and marketing group uh now we have 25 articles so i assume that article this article this article this and this belongs to marketing so what i will do i will select these articles acha if you want to select multiple articles at the same time what you are supposed to do is to click or uh, click on that article press control then click second article but in in this process you are supposed to keep uh, keep pressing a uh, control 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 uh, i have selected these articles what i will do that i will drop uh, drag and drop these articles into that particular group so what i am doing is to drag and drop these articles in marketing so what what is the outcome that these six articles have been download uh, uh, transferred in uh, marketing group similarly uh, what i will do that this one this one pertains to hrm and similar for finance right so what i have done is that i have managed my literature view i, I have uh, managed my uh, uh, references according to my keywords now uh, under group set i can give them a umbrella name for example uh, as i have i have already told that finance hrm marketing lies under the domain of uh, management sciences then what i can do i can create a group set and will create a group set with the name of management sciences and i will select these groups finance and i will drag and drop this in management sciences hrm will also be drag and drop in management sciences and marketing will also be in management sciences so similar practices practice we can do uh, for other domain uh, for example we can create uh, social sciences group uh, for example uh, let me create one more group for example let me create group set of uh, engineering in g ring let me choose a group create a group set in genring and under engineering domain i can create uh, certain groups uh, for example uh, civil mechanical and electrical fine so what i have done that i have created uh, a group set as an umbrella concept and i have created then then i have created group and park that particular group in particular uh, uh, group set so that you so you can manage your references and categorize your references in this way uh, which will ease your work you will not uh, need to uh, to search your article uh, in number of references mohammad akmal is saying that uh, i am not able to create how to save important citations to a suppository product Okay, participants. I, I I hope how many participants have created group and group set. Please 
please let me know. Okay, all done, all okay. Ruben, we love saying this. Okay, okay, okay. For them, share the done, group done, and group set. Okay, okay, okay. It's just like creating folders and subfolders. Yes, Ahmed Qureshi, Abdul Ahmed Abdul Has Qureshi, you agree with you. Mohammad Akmal, now I have created, but I have to put some papers there. Yes, uh, you can, you can, Akmal, you can just uh, use drag and drop option. Just, you know, you choose. For example, uh, this paper and drag and drop in civil. Choose this paper and drop it in in electrical. And you can even uh, uh, drop uh, one paper in more than one group. For example, uh, this paper relationship marketing can be dropped in finance as well, in electrical as well, in uh, market mechanical as well. So it doesn't mean that uh, the particular the particular reference that you have imported or transferred in particular group will be removed from all references. No, it will remain in all references, and you can um, uh, 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 transfer single reference in more than one group. Yes, yes, Zoya Khan, you can, you can agree with you. You can write like, you know, uh, there are many keys for a single option. It is similar MS Word, any other application. You can choose uh, key, uh, keyboard, you can choose mouse. So yes, this option is also available. How group set is created, Usman, Usman. Okay, let me repeat for you. Usman, you just click on group. Right. Uh, choose create group. Let me create one more group. Medical uh, group set. Sorry, medical. Okay. So you can see that uh, the group set has been created. Okay, participant time is very limited. Uh, let me move ahead. If group and group set is clear to all you or to you. Sharka Hashmi is saying that how can we? Sharka, I had told this step uh, more than three times before this step. Okay, I will. We will do this in question uh, session. Okay, participant, let me move ahead uh, because uh, we have uh, just 40 minutes left. Okay. How to create uh, import files and folders? Files and folders. I think this is the question. This is an answer to the question uh, a lady was asking about. I think uh, Miss Zoya. Okay, Zoya, I think uh, you are talking about this step. Uh, Parchments, you will have certain PDF articles in your. In your PC, uh, uh, that you will like to import into EndNote. Uh, for example, uh, here I have uh, a folder, relationship marketing, and under relationship marketing article, I do have these articles uh, in my folder. So EndNote provides you an option of exporting exporting even a single article, and you can export the whole folder in it. Uh, for for implementing this step, what you are supposed to do is to yes. In order to import files and folders, uh, click on file. Go to imports, choose file. So you can choose file in your system. Just uh, search which file uh, you want to. For example, 
here is the folder uh, and not Let me choose an article. Here is a sample article. Okay, and click on import. So here you can see Let me repeat this step. File, choose PDFs, machine marketing. Okay, let me choose this single article. Import, import all, click on import. Hmm. Give me a problem in it. I hope that all participants are with me and following this step. I think there is a problem in my PC, otherwise, uh, it uh, easily imports PDF. Oh, yes, PDF. Here was a mistake that I was committing. Uh, okay, I'm repeating this step. In order to import PDF in your uh, in, in, in your PC, click on File, click on Import, choose File option. Uh, by default, uh, what you are supposed to do, click on drop-down men menu and choose PDF, and choose the file that you want to import in your Android library. Click Open and click click Import. So here you can see that it has imported. Yes. Yes, in all references, check it. Yes, it has imported from marketing mix to relationship marketing. I think Zoya, this 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 is something you were asking about. Is it okay now? Okay. Rajdar Ahmed is saying you are you going to teach how to move references from Yes, yes, Mr. Rajendra, obviously we will, we will. Zoya Khan, yes, Zoya Khan is saying yes. Okay, 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 I think Zoya Khan, okay. Uh, here is another magic of EndNote, but I think sometimes it happens and sometimes uh, it doesn't. Oh, let me, let me try it. And then I will also let you know about it. Uh, participants, uh, I guess uh, that uh, I will not strictly be follow. I will not be able to strictly follow the deadline of closing the session at 5 p.m. So the learning is more more important than timeline. So I will try my best to close this by 5 p.m. But if not, then I will uh, like to take uh, some extra time, uh, five to ten minutes, to close the session. Uh, okay, Zoya. Uh, and other participants, now you can see that uh, EndNote uh, uh, PDF has been imported in EndNote, but not with full references because what EndNote uh, has taken it as a document, as a uh, as a file, and uh, EndNote just takes the title. It does. It, it just takes the title in reference, and other fields are missing. So let me check, let me uh, make this title clear for you and uh, let me perform a function. Hmm. 
no actually what i was trying was that uh, sometimes and not uh, uh, also imports complete references with pdf but most of the, most of the time it doesn't so in in that case what you are supposed to do you will have to enter manual uh, fields you will have to enter all missing fields manually for example author name year journal and x y z other fields uh, it depends because uh, end note is not uh, intelligent in this perspective so it takes a pdf file as a text only and doesn't import all the references uh, so the best option is to search uh, your pdf article in google scholar title uh, by typing um, uh, title in google scholar and importing references in endnote and then attach your pdf with that particular reference this is the best option okay okay now the next uh, part is about which is a hallmark which is the crux of this session is uh, opening and not in word yes all all efforts that we have done yet was for the sake of importing references into uh, sorry uh, uh, citing uh, references into ms word file what endnote does is that it creates a repository it creates a for file it creates a library for you and then it helps you ease uh, referencing in your literature review for example here i have open ms word file you can see that under ms word on my screen endnote tab has been created you know when you create when you install endnote then it creates a particular tab in endnote of endnote in M, uh, in ms word ribbon i guess that all participants will have this endnote ribbon available in their ms word is this or not yes from shere saying yes 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 it is available is okay okay if if it is not available if it is not available then what you are supposed to do is to click on file menu click on options right and uh, click on uh, uh, customize ribbons and search locate where the end node is you can see that uh, in my pc Endnote is checked here. If your endnote is not checked, then obviously it will not be displayed in your ribbon in in MS Word. So if endnote is not displayed in ribbon, you are supposed to check it in uh, customize ribbon option and click OK. And then I, I guess that it will be displayed in MS Word ribbon. okay now let me uh, start let, let me go toward setting references in ms word so for example i have i'm writing my literature review um, for example uh, marketing for example uh, i have read this article what i have grabbed from this article uh is the definition of marketing assume for example that marketing is the process of creating value for the for the customer by the way this definition is of uh, american marketing marketing association but uh, uh, i'm just taking it as a, as an example so if i have taken uh, this definition of marketing from this de from this article so in order to cite this particular article i will choose this and i will go to ms word option ms word file and click on endnote tab in the ribbon 
of MS Word. And here you can see that at the very left side, insert citation option is available. Click on insert citation and click on option number two, insert selected citation. Because you have selected that particular citation in EndNote library, so you will choose option number two. Put your cursor here, and you can you can see that. Oh no, there is. A, okay, this reference was not complete. Okay, let me choose another reference. Sorry. Okay, for example, this this uh, this article. I I wanna cite this article. So I will choose this. I will select this. I will put my cursor here. I will click on insert citation. I will choose insert selected citation and click on it. Now you can see that it has provided in text citation and complete reference as well. Mind it that uh, all the references are uh, complete references are created uh, alphabetically. Uh, so what I will do, I will uh, click on enter and we'll put it on page number two. Similarly, I will write uh, more literature review, for example, this, this, and this. And I will cite this article here in their selected citations, okay? And you can see that it has created short references, short, short reference, as well as complete reference in the complete uh, in the bibliography. Okay. Yes, yes. Zoya Khan is saying that uh, can we cite um, uh, two articles simultaneously? Yes, yes. Bilkul. You can. You can even cite uh, more than two. Uh, multiple articles for example uh, for this particular for this purpose you will have to choose that particular article simultaneously for example if i have write a literature view and this uh, literature view uh, belongs to this article article number this this and this so in order to select multiple articles simultaneously what you're supposed to do uh, uh, select the first article and then control pre uh, then press control and uh, se select uh, keep selecting uh, more and more articles so what i have what i have done this uh, for this is that i have selected one two three four and five articles so zoya what you can do go to ms word write your literature view here put your cursor here insert citation insert selected citations now you, you can see that it has cited all that five articles fine is it okay okay fine uh, apartment you can also see that uh, in many cases uh, reference is cited in two way the first way is that you cite first and then write or you first write and then cite for example i am writing a literature view i am saying that uh, that uh, uh, for example vargo and Luce are two are, are two authors i am citing vargo and Luce. i will say that vargo and Luce. 2004 have postulated right so when i will use uh, ms word or uh, end note option it will cite article in this way it will give the name of author and year in bracket for example let me clear it let me explain it in more simple way for example i'm citing this article and there's selected citation and i'm saying that johns et al 2016 has postulated 
calculated that and so on here is a grammatical mistake in this uh, reference can anyone identify what the mistake that i have committed in this writing yes yes dr rashda at all bushra bas singh at all right have ijaz ahmed sajad sajad nadeem singh has <laughs> okay <laughs> okay yes this yes okay okay this at all okay sajad nadeem i i will incorporate let me incorporate your uh, your feedback here but still sajid still there is a mistake still there is a mistake in this article this is a quiz bracket yes bushra bas is saying that bracket yes a sentence can never be started with a bracket this is a mistake in this article but but we have no option in uh, since we have automatically cited yes mubinul haq uh, sahab is also saying that uh, bracket yes this is by default you know we cannot edit it we cannot remove bracket let me let me try to move it it will not okay it will not no it's not being done i am i am pressing on back space but it's not being done oh it's it's mo removing my whole reference it's removing my whole reference so now this is very important point that i wanted to discuss with you in order to make it what it is supposed to be for example let let me let me present you a, an article to make this point more clear that uh, sample article in this okay participants yes you can see that in this article this is a normal referencing right here is a sentence and the reference has been given at the end of the ref, uh, at the end of the sentence so when you cite at the end of the sentence the the author name and the year is given in the bracket but when you you first give the reference and then write your your, your sentence what you are supposed to do what you are supposed how to, to cite is in this way you will write author name uh outside the bracket and the year in the bracket but and not is not providing us the option so how to fix this problem is that you you are supposed to choose this uh, reference okay and click on edit and manage citations click on edit and manage citations okay so here are the here the this uh, this uh, reference has been opened with its complete fields you can see that for here is an here is the formatting option available you click uh, on drop down menu and choose second option display as author and bracket in the in the bracket and here in the bracket display as author author will be outside the bracket and here will be in the bracket choose this option and click on okay now you can see that this problem has been solved the author name has been displayed outside the bracket and the year in 2016 okay acha you can also do do this uh, uh, in some other way for example uh, you can also go to a note uh, for example the the author uh, the title of the research paper is stocks and flows stocks and flows go to endnote 
click on n dot x7 insert citation this time we will not choose an uh, second option we will choose the first option click on insert citation and search the keyword of that article for example this article was starting from stocks and flows stocks and flows so let me search stock and flows here and click on find or enter so you can see that this has been displayed in this small window not what you are supposed to do is to uh, click on this drop down menu insert and choose second option insert as display as author and you will see that this problem has been resolved and the author name has been displayed outside the bracket and the year in the bracket have asserted fine so i think it's clear now and also it has created complete reference here in the bottom okay zoya khan is saying sir how can we solve this issue using when core style rajda rahmat okay 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 uh, uh, so yeah we will answer i i i guess that you know your question will be answered in this next slide okay our next point is opening the, okay we have covered this point insert an index citation we have also covered index citation <sighs> changing bibliographic styles in ms word yes uh as you know that uh, uh i i i was talking about the styles that uh, universities and particular journals follow normally apa is followed in management sciences and social sciences and humanities uh, engineering and medical sciences students have their own particular styles and every university has it, has its own style so what end note uh, help you that you don't need to do this manually you can see that this references reference list has been created in the bottom and it has been uh, uh, created in apa style you can see that in end note option in ms word there is style option available and you see here so it there apa 6 has been chosen if you want to choose vancouver for example so it will convert in vancouver right or you can convert it into chicago you can convert it into annotated or any other style which is recommended for your research so i think now it's clear that how can you choose the reference style mohammad said is saying please use vancouver okay mohammad said sir ki baat maan lete hain uh okay sir fine welcome sir mohammad said sir then welcome shahin bhai is saying forward <laughs> okay sir okay shahin bhai you can do this uh, on your system okay forward let me choose forward forward is not being shown here uh, you can uh, you can see that there are very limited styles uh, being shown in uh, uh, in this uh, window so you can you can export reference styles from uh, endnote endnote uh, thompson and thompson writers uh, website for example you go to endnote select another style okay if you want to choose style of your own choice uh, then you go to endnote library and go to select another style and you can see that there are a lot of styles being shown here 
according to psychology public health so look at your own uh, style here choose it for example i have chosen the engineering style of uh, i don't know quas whatever and uh, style and on choose and you will see that it has been displayed now here yes so i think it, this problem has been solved Zoya Khan is saying that how to solve the issue regarding the sentence starting agar reference then cover mein hoga to kaise us reference se start karenge sentence okay okay zoya khan uh, zakia will you like to unmute zoya khan so that we can discuss okay zoya khan uh, zakia can you hear me तो हम अगर किसी सेंटेंस से पहले स्टार्टिंग में अगर हमने डालना है तब हम कैसे उसको कैरी आउट करेंगे ठीक है आपके सामने मेरी स्क्रीन शो हो रही है ठीक है अब आप देखें कि फॉर एग्जांपल मैंने रेफरेंस स्टाइल के अंदर वैनकूवर चूज किया है राइट ओके अब फॉर एग्जांपल मैं ये आर्टिकल पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल को ये आर्टिकल है इकोनॉमिक डिपार्टमेंट इकोनॉमिक डिटर्मिनेटिव्स फॉर एग्जांपल इसको मैंने साइड करना है आपने साइड करना है फॉर एग्जांपल सो अब व्हाट आई विल डू कि मैं इसको सर्च करूंगा यहां पर मैंने यहां से देखिए वैनकूवर चूज किया है इन दिस स्टाइल के ऊपर मैंने मैंने इसको सर्च किया ये यहां पे शो हो गया आई विल चूज ऑप्शन नंबर 2 ये अब आप ये देखिए कैसे आ गया फाइन देखिए if you have chosen reference style then in text citation will also be managed accordingly this is what end note do for you which cannot be done manually but if you have chosen you have chosen vancouver if you have chosen uh, uh, apa if you have chosen forward then in text citation will also be managed accordingly and document it will not be partial yes you can see that I convert it into APA, and in text citation can also be converted to APA. Uh, What will happen? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Fine. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Any other question? Okay, Bushra Baz, what about here? Uh, Bushra, actually, when course style ke under, I think uh, here show nahi hota. And jo choice, jo style apne choose ki hai. एंड नोट उसके अकॉर्डिंगली आपको एक्यूरेट इंटेक्स रिटेशन प्रोवाइड करेगा ओके लेट मी गो मूव एनी अदर क्वेश्चन अबाउट इट सो दैट आई कूड बी एबल टू Dear Vishal, sir, we have remained only uh, seven minutes. I think we should move to question and answer session. Okay, let me clear one more point and then we'll we'll move question and answer session. Okay. 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 Doing manual references. Manually, this is very important. This is very important. Uh, okay, uh, participants, I have told you that all references are not available online. Uh, for example, if you have uh, you you want to cite a newspaper article, you want to cite uh, uh, a document or anything that you have, it will not necessarily be available on uh, uh, Google Scholar or on other databases. In that case, what you are supposed to do is to go to the end note um uh, click on this option new reference or you can also choose uh, go to references and click on new reference so new reference can can also be approved to references or from this uh, uh, uh button click here right and uh, 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 also i, I was uh, uh, discussing with you that uh, literature review is taken in a very broad context so literature view um, may be a, a journal article may be a mutual conversation 
so what you are supposed to do while you are citing uh, while you are entering a manual reference uh, and note provides you the option reference type so click on this and it will provide you uh, the nature of reference the type of reference you can choose uh, general paper standard electronic article case study or anything that you have for example if you want to uh, 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 cite a blog then click on blog uh, write the name of the author uh, here and other fields. How to write the name of the author? How to? Uh, what will be the criteria of entering the entering the author name? I will provide you this PPT because time is very limited and the organizer is uh, saying me to close the session and go toward the question answer session. So you can follow these PPTs or you can approach me uh, other than this session uh, so that. Uh, to learn further to how to en uh, enter uh, manual referencing i hope that uh, this particular ppt will help you i have uh, provided all the details in this ppt uh, so that's uh, all uh, from my side and i have tried my best to cover this um, endnote session uh, within the limit of two hours but the reality is that uh, per complete training requires a full day so what uh, we have been doing what our practices are what are our practices that we, we have been conducted uh, one day or two days and one end note one end note so that's all from my side any questions yes my email address uh, is available in the ppt which is i'm also writing it in the chat box Sean at iop Welcome. Yes. Yes, uh, organizer. Okay. Uh, okay, Maman, did Yes, yes, I can hear you. Uh, Maman Golam Abbasab. Have you any question about this session? Muhammad Sai Saab, have you any question about this session? Diji Sai Saab, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Sir, I just wanted to ask you that the change was done. 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 जी ठीक है ठीक है ओके अच्छा वो वर्ड में शो हो रहा था ओके लेट मी लेट मी शो इट आई थिंक ये चलें ये मैं आपको करके दिखाता हूँ फॉर एग्जांपल ओके गो टू एंड नोट सिलेक्ट अनदर स्टाइल फॉर एग्जांपल मैंने कार्डियोलॉजी का ये स्टाइल चूज किया है ठीक है और यहाँ से मैंने इसको चूज किया आई हैव चूज and you, or you can see that uh, this cardio vascular di di style has been shown here. Let me check that either this is also being shown shown in MS Word or not. So you can see that it is showing here. Okay. It is there. It is there. Thank you, sir. Well, sir, welcome. Okay. Any other question? Sabha Javes Saiba, have you any question about this session? Rafiq Khan Saab, have you any question? Ijaz Ahmed Saab, have you any question about this whole session? No, sir, thank you. Welcome. Okay. Aisha Siddiqui Sahib. Oh, sorry, Yasir. Or a University of Peshawar is saying that how do we export of an EndNote library from computer to computer? Uh, I think uh, uh, okay, this is important. Uh, I don't know. See the. 
you can see that whenever you create a library for example i have created library and i have shared it, it it on my desktop you can see that this library icon has is showing here along with a folder supporting folder so what you are supposed to do you can transfer that this uh, particular library in another system by copy pasting but never uh, merely copy this uh, uh, this icon uh, of endnote you are supposed to transfer or copy endnote library along with this folder because this is the supporting folder having pdf so if you will uh, copy this in another system it will it will only import your references but not pdf in order to import uh, transferring or copying pdf as well you are supposed to copy this endnote along with this folder i think this is what uh, you were talking about yes joseph please carry on okay uh, azhar mateen saab have you any question okay welcome bushra abbas saab have you any question about this session Faisal Gulzar Sahib, have you any question about this session? G G C University, Faisalabad, any question about this session? Muhammad Tariq Sahib is saying that he has a question. Okay. Okay. Please take him. Ehsan Ali Sahib, have you any question? Imtiaz Ali Sahib, have you any question? Yasir Mehvish Rafur is saying that she has a question. Unmute her. Okay. Take her question. Okay. Miss Mehvish Rafur, sir, have you any question? Your voice is open now. You can speak uh, uh, a question uh, to the trainer. Mehvish Rafur, sir, can you hear me? Okay, I think Mavish is not here. Okay. Okay. Forum Sheikh Sahib, have you any question? No, sir. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Madiha Akhtar Sahib, have you any question? No, sir. Thank you. Well. Uh, Mavish, I think uh, you have unmuted yourself. Uh, if you can unmute yourself, I can take your question. Azhar Mateen is saying that I have to say something. Uh, Ji, Mudassir Nazir, have you any question? No, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Muhammad Akmal Saab, have you any question? Muhammad Aslam Saab, have you any question? Uh, Muhammad Rafiq Sahib, have you any question? Zoya Khan is saying that uh, sir, you have you have track version of Android? Yes, uh, Yasir will manage to provide track. Okay. okay. Muhammad Mehran Bashir Sahib, have you any question? Muhammad 
uh, Yasser, I think Azil Mateen Saab want to say something about. So, okay. Ji, Azhar Mateen Saab. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> Waalaikumsalam, sir. Uh, I have attended this very uh, interesting and uh, a very impressive session. Um, I want to thank the uh, uh, organizer, IRC, and especially the uh, uh, especially on behalf of all the participants, particularly your director, Thomas uh, Department, Dr. Mukhtar Hamdani, who is very okay, thank you. for IRC allow us to uh, get very informative session through this webinar. Thank, thank you. you, sir. And also communicate my special salam to Dr. Nisar Hamdani, sir. Okay. Okay. Abdul Ahad Qureshi, sir, have you any question? Uh, yes, sir. I have a little question. Uh, what about if I want to create my own style of references? Is it possible to create your own style? Uh, yes, uh, just like that. You have a uh, ear in the bracket, but but I want in a some time some person demand that uh, write this reference like this, and it is not mentioned in the style list. Is it possible I can create my own style or I can change a already mentioned style? Uh, sir, uh, actually, you know, citations are provided according to particular standards. You know, yes, so sir. there are certain standards. For example, AP is a particular style; it is a standard. Uh, Harvard is a standard. Yes, yes, what you can do that uh, we were also discussing in first question that if your ref particular or your uh, willing uh, reference style is not available in EndNote, you can yes. use. This option, uh, I think uh, this is the fourth time I'm saying no, no issue. Anyway, you can go here, select another style. You know, if you can see that uh, there, uh, what EndNote is showing that annotated APA, if you see on my screen, author did. If yes, sir. this particular style is not relevant to you, what you can do is to select another style, click or on another style, and here is a huge list available. You can see. Can you see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a huge list available, and I think that you will get uh, relevant reference uh, in this list. You choose it here, uh, uh, select it, choose, and then you will see that it is being displayed here. I think this is something you were talking about. Uh, sir, it's okay that mostly styles are mentioned, but if someone give me an assignment that no, write this. Just like I want to say that in the APA style, the year is in the bracket. But someone said that I don't need brackets. Just in the comma is uh, enough for this. I see. In this case, in this case, uh, what you can do is that uh, uh, go to uh, go to MS Word. Yes. Sir. Um, categorize references. Okay, let me check it. Convert. Yes. Okay. Uh, go here. You, can you see my screen here? Okay. Yes. Convert yes, citation. Convert citation and bibliography. Okay. Yes. Convert to text. Convert okay. to plain text. Plain text. Okay. This. Okay. It will appear. Okay. Now you can see that all hyperlinks have been removed. All hyperlinks have been removed. Yes. Yes. No. Okay. It is. It has converted into plain text. Now you can manage it according to your will. Oh Fine? yeah, yeah. That's, my, that's was my point. Okay, got it. Okay, okay. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, sir. Uh, Azhar Mateen, sir, have you any question? Okay. We have taken Azhar Mateen, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Maimon Ghulam Abbas, sir, have you any question? Muhammad Sai Saab, have you any question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 please. Sir, request you can see the Sara package here. Is it available Hoga or is it an end note? Ka jo hai unlimited version Hoga? Organizer can uh, be a better responder to this question. 
मोहम्मद मोहम्मद सही साहब प्लीज रिपीट अगेन ट्रेनर का पूरा मैनुअल है जिसमें ये स्लाइड्स वगैरह भी और इसका सपोर्टिंग मटेरियल प्लस एंड नोट का जो सीडी डी होगी जी जी बिल्कुल मोहम्मद सही साहब आप वर्कशॉप हम आपको तमाम चीजें वो प्रोवाइड कर देंगे जो हमें ट्रेनर की तरफ से रिसीव होंगी चाहे तो वो उसमें पीपीटी भी होगी और इस वर्कशॉप की रिकॉर्डिंग यानी कि वीडियो भी आप उसमें शामिल होगी वो हम आपको प्रोवाइड कर देंगे ई मेल आपको पोस्ट कर देंगे थैंक यू सर वेलकम वेलकम अल्लाह मोहम्मद उस्मान साहब हैव यू एनी क्वेश्चन जी सर सर एक तो ये मेरा क्वेश्चन पहले ये है कि अक्सर हम कोई रेफरेंस इंसर्ट करते हैं गूगल स्कॉलर से इन एंड नोट में उसमें जो साइंटिफिक नेम होते हैं जैसे वाइट फलवी का नेम है बिनेशिया टैबा से तो वो इटैलिक नहीं होते तो उसको हम मैनुअली करते हैं इसके अलावा इसका कोई तरीका कार है कि नहीं है इटैलिक नहीं होते आप कौन सा स्टाइल यूज करते हैं नॉर्मली मैं बेसिकली एग्रीकल्चर का स्टूडेंट हूँ एम फिल कर रहा हूँ बाउदीन जक्री अक्सर जो साइंटिफिक नेम होते हैं ना वो सिंपल दे देता है इटैलिक नहीं करता फॉर एग्जांपल आप ये स्क्रीन पर देखें ये 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 देखें अगर आप इस पर पार्ट को देखें जिसको मैं हाईलाइट कर रहा हूँ तो ये इटैलिक में है ना इज इट ये तो है लेकिन अक्सर मैंने कोई एक दो पेपर किए हैं उसमें वो नहीं करता इस तरह मुझे खुद यानी उन्हें सेलेक्ट करके इटैलिक करना पड़ता है तो उसका कोई टेलिक टेक्सटाइल इन कंप्लीट रेफरेंस दैट इज बीइंग डिस्प्लेड राइट नाउ ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट आई हैव हाइलाइटेड आप इसकी बात कर रहे हैं ना के आपका एक एक जी पेपर है उसका नेम है यानी टाइटल है उसमें किसी साइंटिफिक नेम आ गया जिस तरह थ्रिप्स का नेम है आगे उसका यानी साइंटिफिक नेम दिया हुआ अगर हम उसे गूगल स्कॉलर या दूसरे किसी भी उसे इंसल्ट करते हैं नोट में तो वो इटैलिक नहीं होता वो सिंपल दिया होता है उसे खुद इटैलिक करना पड़ता है अच्छा जी मेरा ख्याल है कि शायद मैं आपको क्वेश्चन नहीं समझ पा रहा देखिए जो एंड नोट है ना वो तो एक स्टैंडर्ड आपको जो एक पर्टिकुलर डेफरेंस स्टाइल है उसकी एज इट इज जो इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड है फॉर एग्जांपल एपीए एक पर्टिकुलर डेफरेंस स्टाइल है तो वो आपको उसके अकॉर्डिंगली साइटेशन मैनेज करके देगा अगर आप उसको कर पर, जो पिछले पार्टिसिपेंट का क्वेश्चन था वो यही था कि अगर वो अपनी बिल के अकॉर्डिंगली उसको साइट कर उसको मैनेज करना चाह रहे हैं उसकी फॉर्मेटिंग करना चाह रहे हैं तो फिर आप उसको सिंपल टेक्स में कन्वर्ट करें Uh, लेकिन अगर आप जो रेफरेंस स्टाइल चूज करेंगे एंड नोट उसके अकॉर्डिंगली ही उसको कन्वर्ट करेगा ना अब आई डोंट नो कि आप कौन सा रेफरेंस स्टाइल फॉलो कर मेरा क्वेश्चन आप समझे नहीं है सर सर जिस तरह मैं एक मिनट एक पेपर खोल के आपको उसका तरीका आप या सर कैन यू मेक हिम ऑर्गेनाइजर और मेक हिम प्रेजेंटर इनके हम स्क्रीन शेयर करते हैं सर ये पेपर का टाइटल है मैं उसे कॉपी कर रहा हूँ ओके okay. सर आपको नजर आ रहा है कि नहीं जी जी बिल्कुल 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 ये मैं उसे गूगल स्कॉलर खोल लू सॉरी सर ये पेपर शायद उसमें मैं एक कोई और पेपर देखता हूँ ये पेपर है मैं वो कर रहा हूँ सर अब इसमें आप ये देखें ये है ना बयालीस 
फिजिकल एंड इंटीग्रेटेड कंट्रोल ऑफ ये आगे साइंटिफिक नेम है साइंटिफिक नेम अक्सर हम इटैलिक देते हैं लेकिन यहाँ नहीं होता तो ये हमें खुद करना पड़ता है इसका कोई और तरीका हो तो यानी खुद ब खुद ही वो हो जाए और ये जो आपके टाइटल के अंदर है जी जी ये जिस तरह दिया हुआ है ना प्लोटेला जैलोस्टेला ये अक्सर यानी साइंटिफिक नेम है इसको हम इटैलिक करते होते हैं साइंटिफिक नेम अच्छा ये जो एल ई पी ब्रैकेट के अंदर है इसको आप नहीं नहीं आप उससे पहले जो नेम दिया हुआ मैं उसको वो कर रहा हूँ सिलेक्ट कर रहा हूँ ये साइंटिफिक नेम है इसको यानी हम अगर साइड करेंगे जहाँ भी लिखेंगे ना तो उसे यानी इटैलिक करना होता है तो यहाँ वो सिंपल दिया हुआ इटैलिक नहीं होता तो आप इसको लॉजिकलेंड करें कि ये टाइटल है टाइटल के अंदर एक पर्टिकुलर फील्ड है मतलब जर भी है एन नोट के अंदर वॉल्यूम भी है ऑथर भी है ये लॉजिकली तो ये पॉसिबल नहीं है कि आपने टाइटल की फील्ड के अंदर इसको लिखा और टाइटल के अंदर आप फर्दर इसको सब कैटेगराइज करें ये पॉसिबल नहीं है मैं आपको जो पॉइंट समझाना चाह रहा हूँ वो ये है कि ये किसी पर्टिकुलर स्टाइल की, की रिक्वायरमेंट होगी फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए पी एक स्टाइल है आपका आपका कौन सी डोमेन है बायोलॉजिकल साइंसिस है एरिया क्या है देखिए बायो मल्टीपल स्टाइल्स हैं। फॉर एग्जांपल हमारी मैनेजमेंट साइंसेस के मल्टीपल स्टाइल्स होते हैं बायोलॉजिकल साइंस की एक पर्टिकुलर रेफरेंसिंग स्टाइल का ये एक फॉर्मेट होगा जिसकी ये रिक्वायरमेंट होगी तो आप ये करें कि आप अपने सुपरवाइजर से या अपने टीचर से या अपने किसी भी सीनियर से ये पता करें कि ये कौन सा स्टाइल है जिसके अंदर आपका ये साइंटिफिक नेम ब्रैकेट के अंदर जो होता है वो इटैलिक होता है फिर उस पर्टिकुलर रेफरेंस स्टाइल को आप एंड नोट के अंदर इंपोर्ट करें आपका काम ऑटोमेटिकली हो जाएगा अदरवाइज इस पर्टिकुलर स्टाइल सर ये तो इंटरनेशनल लॉ है कि अगर आप साइंटिफिक नेम कहीं भी दें ये कोई जरूरी नहीं है कि आप बायो साइंसिस में दे रहे हैं या बायो कंट्रोल में दे रहे हैं इसमें वो इटैलिक ही होती है साइंटिफिक नेम आप ये आपका एरिया है ऑब्वियसली आप जो बात कर रहे हैं बिल्कुल ठीक कह रहे हैं मैं आपसे ये पॉइंट कह रहा हूँ ये ये रिक्वायरमेंट एक पर्टिकुलर रेफरेंसिंग स्टाइल की रिक्वायरमेंट होगी जी जी ठीक है ये पर्टिकुलर रेफरेंसिंग स्टाइल की रिक्वायरमेंट होगी आप उसको सर्च करें एक तो आप पता करें कि ये कौन सा स्टाइल है उसका नाम पता करें और देन आप उसको सर्च करें आपका ये मसला हल हो जाएगा ठीक है ओके सर एक दूसरा ओके सर थैंक यू वेरी मच एक यस क्या सर सर यस जासिर इज हियर एनी अदर क्वेश्चन ओके आई चेक लेट मी चेक यासिर अब्बास साहब है यू एनी क्वेश्चन नो सर थैंक यू ताहिरा मुबशर साहब हैव यू एनी क्वेश्चन थैंक यू सो मच यासिर यस आई हैव टू क्वेश्चंस माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट आई हैव अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ आर्टिकल्स व्हिच आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेव्ड ऑन माय कंप्यूटर एंड व्हाट इफ नाउ आई वांट टू ऐड दोस पीडीएफ फाइल्स टू माय एंड नोट लाइब्रेरी and i really want to make uh, their citations available in my article so uh, that uh, option we have gone through during the workshop has not shown the complete list so uh, in that yes. case i have to add manually or what i have to do yes ma'am yes this is exactly what i was talking about actually uh, i i i had personally run this function uh, sometimes uh, i think you have learned how to import pdf or uh, uh, whole document pdf uh, file in endnote have you learned yes, yes that i have yes okay. from the file so question is that, file. now your question is that how to make your references available against that pdf file in your endnote library yes exactly is it yes, yes. actually uh, endnote provides sometimes endnote provide complete references otherwise it merely imports the title of the pdf yes so in it that is. particular the best option the best option is uh, for you is to search your article article with uh, uh, in your uh, in google scholar or on database and import references and then drag and use drag and drop option 
to uh, attach uh, pdf against that particular reference this okay. is the best option can you give me the demonstration please we will not for example here is an article yes for example here is a research question that you have in your pc fine okay. copy this go to google scholar uh, google scholar okay yeah this you mean that i need to type that on and search it again and then yes. i have to do that okay. yes the second option is to type uh, missing fields manually but uh, you know manually is much difficult than doing search uh, then searching on uh, google scholar so i think searching on google scholar and importing it into pc uh, into your endnote library and then attaching that uh, pdf in okay do that is please complete the demonstration so that i am more clear i uh, have you joined the whole workshop or uh... yeah yeah i have joined i know but i just want to repeat it because okay, i have you see that i have imported you know okay you can see this is article b2b relationship yeah. i have imported this citation in endnote here you can see okay and here is uh, the pdf available in my pc i don't know where okay with the name okay. of sample article i i, I have selected it and then i am dragging it into endnote drag okay. here now you can see that it has uh attached in the uh, here in it or uh, you what you are supposed to do where if you want to read this in endnote library double click here in the pdf will open yes and click here okay now you can read it in uh endnote library is it okay and now the missing information in that reference part will be updated automatically there is no missing information because you have cited it you have imported it from google scholar there is no missing information uh, title name of journal name of author year page everything is available this information was previously unavailable because i was having that file already saved on my computer but then i attached with from the yeah, google any other scientific search engine then it will be available and because you had you had imported it from your pc you had imported okay. pdf file from your pc yes but it just took uh, the the title of the article not yes. the whole document yes dear participant thank you so much for your participation in our online workshop on automatic citation management techniques using endnote software take care allah hafiz enjoy yourself